Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Today, oh, this is the base of an old water tank. It needs to go up to the attic. And the attic is two flights of stairs. It's obviously too heavy to carry. What do we do? I'm going to lift it up through the attic window. We'll be using a few things for that. We'll be applying some science and uh, hoping that it all works out. And just as an idea to see how heavy it actually is, I've got here a scale. So I'll just put the camera down. It used to be a complete water tank that used to actually be in the attic. I then threw it down through the window, thinking I could use it down here and actually realized it was probably better to stay up in the attic to be as a because uh, the water pump in the attic and use this as a base for the pump in case it were to leak could use a drain pipe to put it so have a drain pipe attached to it should it burst or fail. Okay, we'll have to build some kind of a rope work and get busy with it. Strapping is done. Hopefully that holds. Now we've got to go to the attic. And prepare everything over there. So the attic window is right up there. It's going to be a little bit of a mess to get it into here. We go to the attic. Okay, so now I'm in the attic. I've removed the windows. just to lift them out so this water tank here I also got it through this window using similar way but then in order to pull it up I used a car so with this pipe pulley is just a, it's just a bit of galvanized pipe and the pulley is a rim from an old uh, wheel for a uh, hand trolley now we've got this cable, electrical cable. So one side attaches to the tank. The other side I've got to get another wire and then that will attach onto here. It's got to go over the pulley. So I just need to go and get another cable. You strap another strap onto that cable and we can pull it with the tractor. So now we got to go back downstairs. That and pull it attached to the tractor. Now it's just time to get the tractor. Okay, everything is attached to the tractor. Now to see if this will work or if it will be a big failure. Otherwise we will have to move to plan B.
just got to go back to the attic because the pulley, the rope has come off the pulley. Okay, this is take three. Okay, I'm all set for take four. Hopefully this, this time lucky. If not, I have to think of another way to do it. Seems to have worked this time around, so it's right there at the window. Now I go to the attic and now comes the heavier lifting part, is to lift it in through the window. And you see now you have to lift it through these stairs. These are six stairs. That wouldn't be too bad. But then these stairs are all a bit more narrow. With two people it may be possible. Still a heavy job. Okay, now you can see this pipe has also bent, but it has held. So hopefully it will hold for a few more minutes. Okay, may not be perfect, but it's in. I just have to undo these knots.
So this pipe is not worth much anymore because it's bent right here. So this can go also back down. Okay. Now I've got quite a bit of pipe. So I'll prepare another piece in case of anything in the future I need to bring up here. The other times when I brought the blue tank up, it went a bit easy because the uh, Kiwi structure was uh, different. It gave a lot more uh, options, better options for placing the cable in order to put it up. But you can't always win but so in the future if you need a quick simple pulley just a wheel off of a trolley so it's, it's a little bit dark up here <laughs> but in any case there's the tank bottom so put it over there in the corner it's hard to see but in the corner there is the water pump. So my previous pump had failed and it caused a big leakage so the whole ceiling here was wet. It dripped down into the bedroom and the, it destroyed the door frame. So in order to prevent that from happening in the future this tank base can go underneath it and then with the pipe we can drain it off via the drain for the water tank connect that all together and then that shouldn't give any more uh, well doesn't there's no issues at the moment but that should at least give a bit of a, a safety for if there should be flooding it will drain directly off outside without having any kind of uh, unwanted surprises because it happened uh, at night with the other pump so when I woke up I woke up literally to uh, almost a swimming pool in at my house but uh, that will prevent any more flooding in the house alright thanks for watching this different style of Kubota video and bit of physics a bit of science and the working of pulleys to help along just so you can see it is a bit of a distance down it's not too bad the tractor is parked underneath the pine tree now now I've just got to tidy up put the windows back in check that everything's okay we've have, it has chipped a little bit here of this stone but it's hardly noticeable it's not really too noticeable and the walls still need a painting in any case there's also a little bit of a chip over here again you can just grab a file diamond file and file the edge off and it will look fine the window frame has gotten a little bit of a knock but should be okay so whilst I'm up here I'll put the windows back in place pieces of wood down that's what they you there used to be a doorway here most likely that is how they, they put, lifted in the old tank through this doorway so instead of it being a doorway it's now a window it's a little bit safer the doorway it's a bit scary as well as uh, literally disintegrating it was made all out of wood Okay, this is how it looks like back down on the ground. The pipe has not been damaged, it's quite flexible, so that's all gone well. I have damaged a little bit the wooden framework here, so I have to get a bit of varnish and revarnish that. But overall, 
it's not gone too badly. There's a few scrapes on the wall, but as I said, the white is still primer. The rest still needs to be painted on this side, as access is a bit difficult with the kiwi tree structure. It's a bit been put off for a while, this painting. Alright, thanks for watching.